Pick a card. Urgent messages from Spirit. Here are your options, and I'll see you at your reading. Hi, friends. My name is Griselle with Psychic MD, and I'm here to do your reading. Long time no see. I know I've been MIA. So, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and cleanse the area right here. And thank you for being patient with me. I am building a second channel. Um, and I recently got declined to be monetized for this channel, which is not a surprise to me. So if you'd like to see a little bit more content, a little bit more frequency, you can head on over to Tough Doll Tarot. That is my second channel. The vibe is a little bit different, but you guys are all welcome. And I do plan on doing these here at Psychic like MD more frequently because this is my baby. So I hope that you guys are doing well. And I wanted to do messages, urgent messages that you need to hear. And without further ado, we're going to go ahead and shuffle the cards and present your reading. Here we go. Hi, pal number one. Welcome to your reading. So before I get started, I did pick a um, September 2024 winner. I finally did that yesterday. So you might want to look in the um, community tab where the actual drawing was because I commented on top of the winner's comment. And uh, anyways, yeah. So here we go. Urgent messages from Spirit. The Magician Reversed. The Four of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, the Seven of Wands reversed, the Sun, and the Page of Wands. So the first thing that I'm getting, Paul, number one. First thing that I'm getting right here is, I'm going to leave it in the upright, but read it reversed. The Magician reversed. And I'm feeling like you guys, you guys feel impeded in some way, shape, or form. Like your manifestation is never going to come about. Like even the mojo, the desire, el animo, you know, the, um, even the, the drive to try to create or bring this about is just kind of waning. And I, resemble that remark. I get that. So we're going to get some information about this because we can't just stand this energy in a way. So whatever it is that you are trying to manifest has a temporary hold on it. And we'll find out why we've got the four of pentacles. So this has to do with maybe lack mentality, not giving of yourself fully. I mean, we have the little baby bunnies and I'll send the foxes in the den, right? And we have the mama bunny or the parental bunny out and about, maybe foraging for food, totally unaware that her babies are in danger and they're not nestled and all cozied up. So, pile number one, I'm thinking even, even these two things look like ropes to me, almost like a swing that you can't see. So it's kind of interesting because I feel like you go through different phases especially recently where you look around and you're like, okay, this is very difficult um, to keep a roof over my head, to keep my baby safe, to keep, you know, everybody going. Also, I know that a lot of people are having a hard time just making bills meet and things like that. That's everywhere currently. So I feel like you could be really concerned about the state of the world who isn't. I'm concerned about, you know, the tragedies that are happening um, 
you know, with the weather disasters, a hurricane, Helena and things like that. So my heart goes out to anybody who has connections there. And um, I just, yeah, this is why I get banned. <laughs> this is why I get in trouble. I just can't believe that um, they're not allowing people, even with their own money and their own helicopters to go in and really do rescues and help out and things like that. So they've been threatened with arrest and that is a travesty to say the least, but Moving on, pilot number one, um, I definitely feel like you are thinking about like nesting and taking care of things. So there's a little bit of a fear mode, which, you know, and rightly so, and I understand once again, considering the state of the world. And um, next we have the two of wands and it's like, what are my options? What are my options? Do I form an alliance is what I'm hearing in my mind. Pile number one, if you don't have a partner, this could be you thinking, okay, let me go ahead and form an alliance. It might be a little bit easier. Instead of paying for two houses or two mortgages, we've got, you know, we've got two against one. We've got two people paying one mortgage and so on and so forth. So I think that resource guarding, um, being very pragmatic, being very methodical, trying to see when the ice is going to melt. To me, this looks like ice in the clouds. So trying to see when the ice is going to melt off from the world and basically not eliminate the danger, but make it less likely, right? Um, waiting for things to kind of thaw out, waiting for spring. Yeah, but I definitely feel like partnerships, this doesn't have to be romantic. This could be very pragmatic. Um, it could be getting roommates. It could be, you know, where it is that you work and things like that. But something about a partnership. Now, for others of you, and I could hear you groaning already, I feel like this is talking about a partnership that you're already in that is not working. And I'm going to say that I, I'm not getting the feeling that you're thinking of leaving or the other partner is thinking of leaving, but there is somehow a lack where one person is doing all the work and the other person is doing nothing, dare I say that, or not a lot. So in this case, you know, we know that the lionesses go out and hunt and they usually uh, bring back the kill for the lions and the cubs and so on and so forth. The lions are, the you know, kind of the leaders of the pack and whatnot. But I feel like I would fear more the lioness. So fit that however you will in your narrative. And of course, these are not individual read or these are not private readings. So if you'd like a private reading, um, you can head to my Etsy store. I'll put the link down below. Also, with the seven of wands reversed, I feel like this is just stating that, you know, we're no longer doing we're no longer doing things like you don't feel like you're standing on high ground. I feel like maybe you might be in some negative space, negative head space, but also not being able to see that you actually are on higher ground. This alligator, I always get confused or crocodile. I'm not sure. I'm going to call it a land shark just because, but y'all can correct me in the comments below. That's fine. <laughs> I'm just going to say that with this demarcation, this line of water coming through right here and this uh, land shark, right, is able to defend themselves. I feel like they're really big, they're powerful, and they got a stick. I don't know why a land shark would need a stick. But then you have all these little, you know, oppositional forces coming at you. And because it is in the reverse, I feel like you, you feel like you're not standing on higher ground, that you cannot defend yourself, that you cannot protect yourself. I feel like, again, um, sovereignty and protection are very, very important at this time. It is crucial for you. And I feel like this is why your manifestation abilities have slowed down. So I feel like this is not a no. I'm going to put it in the upright just because, and I'm going to crown this right here simply because we want to um, change up the energy, don't we? So pile number one, I'm definitely feeling like, yeah, you you feel kind of vulnerable. It's a state of vulnerability where you feel like you cannot defend yourself. And I am going to say that pile number one, I love this card. <laughs> look at how pretty it is. So, I mean, look, I don't even know what this is. Is it... It's a mountain lion, Grissel. Okay, thank you. Thank you, guys. Me and my telepathic abilities connect to you. Yeah, just kidding. So, column number one, with a mountain lion right here, you do have, and you are standing on high ground. You may not know it. You may not perceive it, but it's going to be very important because fear is dragging you down. And I think that a lot of us are feeling different forms of this, whether it's just really pragmatic day to day or whether this is like on a global 
um, event or whether this is some of you guys are having a really difficult time missing people in your life and so on and so forth. So I'm going to say even this mountain lion, um, their paw is pointing at the sun right here. So it's going to be very important for you. Um, maybe even, you know, if you're suffering from some depression, things like that. Do little things to elevate your mood. Um, start exercising, start eating better or meditating or doing little tiny bits of each. I know it's very difficult to get out of that rut. I really feel that. But I'm going to say that, you know, your optimism can be renewed. Um, I feel like you can enter a little bit of a dreamlike state and pull yourself out of this. Also, I'm a big advocate for... Um, you know, going and getting therapy. This is, you know, psychiatrist, psychologist, whatever it is that you need. Talk therapy, talk to a friend, do all the above, some of the above, whatever. But I'm being told that this is looking up for you. Like a lot of your fears are going to be in your mind. Not that you shouldn't be in that space right now. Um, but I'm going to say that you don't have to remain there. You can acknowledge it. You can actually list all the resources that you have or all of your strengths and start focusing on those instead of like the lack or like I'm fearful. I don't know if I can take care of my family and so on and so forth. So I feel like a lot of that is coming through. Paul number one, we have the page of wands right here. And I think that that in a short while is going to really... Open up your optimism. I feel like also those of you that are similar to myself, that you have connections to like ravens and sparrows and birds, um, any birds, really, crows. I feel like those connections are going to be really, really helpful. And you can call on those animal spirits. I feel like you can even see the traps that are being laid. I've never seen this card as a trap, but it just does feel like there's a creature in here lurking underfoot with a little twig trying to lure this raven to be able to go and and uh, check it out, right? But I feel like you are incredibly plugged into the great mysteries, the mysteries of the other side, the mysteries to life, and so on and so forth. And I feel like the clouds are going to be lifting shortly. So I hope, and my spirit is to really try to elevate you, to try to encourage you, to know that if you are feeling a little bit down, a little bit out of sorts, or a lot of it, right, it doesn't... Who am I to judge? Pile number one, I'm just going to say that I want to support you. I definitely feel this in this energy in the air that a lot of things are, you know, a trap and so on and so forth. And my brain can be very, you know, my brain can be if you've been here any minutes at all. Okay. But I'm looking at these flowers and I feel like there's a lot of beauty still to be had, beauty still to be focused upon. And it's going to be very important for you to vibrationally switch up and change and elevate out of this fear mentality, simply because I feel like that is what's being projected on top of us. We we're being bombarded constantly with, um, you know, things to fear, things to be scared of and misinformation. Um, information that is controlled and slanted for a lot of reasons. I'm all Grisel. This is probably why this channel will never be monetized. But anyways, we're going to keep it moving. I just want to really encourage you that if you're feeling down uh, in the dumps or just not feeling well at all, that your mojo is going to return, that your ability to manifest um, is always there. It never gets snuffed out. And so pile number one, the biggest message, urgent message to you from spirit is, uh, even though you feel like your manifestations are being put on ice or it's just a flat no, or there's nothing you can manifest that is good right now because of whatever reason, right? Um, spirit is saying that you are still manifesting. So be careful with your thoughts. Try to reel those in. Um, it's going to be careful. Be careful to be grounded. Get grounded. Get your feet in grass and dirt, things like that. If you have pets, make sure that you're getting their little paws out in the dirt or in um, grass also to transmute those energies because they absorb our energy as well. So pile number one, I hope that that is being a little bit helpful. Um, I do feel like you're going to have really great things with the sun is the most positive card in the entire deck. So I'm not just over here going rah, rah, push through. No, because we all have crappy days, right? Mama said there'll be days like this. There'll be days like this. Mama said. 
So we have the Ten of Wands right here. Yeah, it's been a really big burden. I feel like you have been toiling late into the night. You could have just a ton of burdens that are not yours, by the way. If you are a parental unit or a parent and you have children um, in the home, it's going to be important to really help give them the skills, give them the empowerment to be able to do a little bit more, uh, something outside of their sphere of experience that you can teach them so that they can start taking responsibility um, and helping out as well. Plus, you're giving them life skills. I really struggle with that. So I'm not just speaking from a place of like, oh, I know it all. Because I definitely don't, pal number one. I've struggled in every way, shape, and form. And plus, I'm hard-headed. So that's like sprinkle, sprinkle of not goodness, okay? But I'm going to say that if you have that ability or the emotional bandwidth to be able to do that, now is the time to be able to train people. Also, if you're having... um. You know, people like we mentioned before, spouses that don't pull their weight or that they think that just because they work, you know, their job ends there and that you take care of everything else, um, including maybe being, you know, you being the emotional dumping ground for a lot of things, that that's just not the case. So I feel like letting go of things, if you have to let their underwear sit on the floor for like two weeks and then they're wondering, where my clean clothes? Will I earn the bread? I don't know what your dynamics are. You know, it's going to be up to them to figure it out. They can wash it too, or they can, you know, put them undies inside out or sideways or right side in or go commando for all you care. But the biggest thing is going to be um, recovering from this burnout because I don't feel like you have a lot more to give. You are tapped out and right now you need to be tuned in with spirit, tuned in with what your body, mind and soul need. And that is why this is an urgent message to you. Pile number one. If you're liking this kind of reading, do give me a like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for being patient with me as well. Pile number one, we have the world. And I feel like you are elevating. You could be undergoing like a dark night of the soul right now. You could be just, uh, yeah, wondering what kind of a matrix hell you are in or we are all in. I feel like also maybe you are looking at how to unplug from the world and how to really experience regeneration, rejuvenation within your own spirit. I feel like you're doing a lot of questioning. And this is the right way. Spirit is saying that I'm so sorry that this is the way that things are going. But you have got what it takes to climb these stairs. It's only just a little bit more. And Spirit is also saying that in you switching up gears and allowing other people to carry their own emotional debris, their own responsibility, uh, paying for their own bills, whatever this is, that you, in fact, are going to start seeing the light of day, that you are start seeing, you're going to start seeing optimism. That the same way that you shield other people, that you care for them, that you are really trying to be all, spirit is trying to be all for you as well. And so it's important that you do not take other people's um, ability to learn lessons and and have that self-mastery. Don't take it away from them because pile number one, they will eventually suffer. If we really don't give our children the tools, uh, people around us the tools or the opportunity to really rise up and utilize, you know, new skills, learn how to do laundry, learn how to pick up after self or learn how to have a job, learn how to pitch in, learn how to have compassion when people are toiling late into the night and it goes unseen, even learning how to have gratitude. Those are massive lessons that you can actually really help other people achieve by withdrawing your sense of responsibility towards things. And um, therefore, I feel like the energy exchange is going to massively shift in such a way that you see the light of day, that you start seeing, wow, um, I have renewed optimism, that my mojo is starting to spark up again, that my engine is revving, my engine is turning over that I start feeling like maybe I can do this after all. So I feel like you are very close, but the burnout that you're experiencing is happening for a lot of reasons. Unfortunately, I just really do suggest that you try to do a spiritual cleanse, take a Epsom salt bath if you can, a full cup and a half of Epsom salt, don't dump that in the tub if you have one, or go to a friend's house, or I don't know, stick it in a spray bottle and do head to toe in the shower, that kind of a thing, and just really ask for it to get rid of all of that negativity. A lot of it is just fear, not just fear, but 
it's a lot from other people. It is a lot. It's just a lot of emotional debris and smog that doesn't belong to you any longer. So that is what I have for you. If you like this kind of reading, do give me a like, share, comment, subscribe. Much, much love to you. Until next time, namaste. Pile number two. Thank you for being here, first of all. I really much appreciate everything. Pile number two, urgent messages for you. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle the cards. And three, two, one. Pile number two, you have the three of wands, urgent messages for you. You have the four of cups. You have the tower reversed. You have the four of swords. You have the two of cups. You have the double. Crowning your reading for additional information. You have the seven of cups. And you have the three of swords. So urgent messages for you. Pile number two. First of all, before I forget, I did pick a September 2024 um, winner. It is in the community tab. You'll just need to go to the actual original post for the giveaway. And I posted it under the person's comment. I may have to highlight that more so that y'all can find it easier. But we have the Three of Wands. Urgent messages for the Three of Wands. I feel like you've been anticipating something. You've been waiting for something. I hear I've been waiting for a girl like you to come into my life. <laughs> so we have the Four of Cups right here. So first off, I'm going to say that you've been waiting for something. But in the process of that wait, you've been turning down other things. Now, I'm hearing a little bit of, you know, do I eat this or that? And I think that was big, I don't know, 20 years ago, maybe more. Um, where they actually put out a book or there was a show, you know, eat this, not that, bite this, not that, that similar idea. So we all have choices and options right here, but I definitely feel like you have been waiting. You've been waiting for your tie to come in. You've been waiting for spring to break. You've been waiting for a song and dance. I feel like there's an element of waiting and along with that waiting, um, the three of wands typically talks about you putting in a lot of effort. Things have been not easy okay you have been putting in some elbow grease but you're waiting for the return of that elbow grease and i guess one example real time example not that this reading is about me but here we are um is i've been trying to get this channel monetized i've been also building another channel um it is called tough doll tarot you can head there for additional readings they are similar um in nature similar not identical for sure but uh, the other channel got monetized and this one is, got denied. <laughs> so you could be, you know, it's like you have opportunities and you keep waiting for something. You have did a, a lot of work on something and yet it isn't being brought to fruition. And so there are many reasons for that. Now, with my channel, evidently I have a big mouth and I talk about things that I shouldn't be talking about. And so that's a factor. Plus, you know, I kind of 
you know, do have readings that I need to clean up. So for me personally, I will be doing that soon. It's just, I would say within the next three months. Okay, soon. That's my relative. Now, when it comes to you, three of wands, this is relative as well. Within the next three months, I feel like you are going to start seeing progress. Now, the reason why this is an urgent message from Spirit in your case, pal number two, is that you have a lot of things that can potentially be really good for you. Like the three cups right here is, you know, celebration, reuniting. Um, it is bonding. It is bar mitzvahs and weddings and happy hours and reciprocal energy and so on and so forth. Um, but here you are focused on, I want that one cup. It's got to be perfect. This has got to be emotionally gratifying. It's got to be tuned in, tapped in to my energy, body, mind, heart, and soul kind of a thing. And if it's not that way, I don't want it. I don't want to celebrate anything else and so on and so forth. So be careful that you are not um, declining good things that could be opportunities that are coming your way. But also be careful that you are not celebrating what you currently have because that's very important. And I feel like things will unfold a little bit more down the line as far as why it is important. Now, with the tower right here, the tower reverse, this talks about maybe we are in an energy where we are hitting our brain against the pavement. That sounds dramatic, but here we are. So, pal number two, I definitely feel like with the tower, this is about building upon foundations that are unstable. And see, this whole tree has cracked. It is broken. It can no longer support what it once did or what it superficially supported, right? So maybe this is, um, maybe this has to do with the foundation of like home life or work life, friendship circle, friend group, uh, family dynamics. It could be, you know, peppered throughout, but whatever it is, um, you are privy to the information that things are not really working out because it is the tower card, but you're unwilling to let go. You're a little bit like, well, if I hang in there, if I put in work, if I continue uh, pushing through, maybe the tides will turn in my favor, that kind of a thing. So you're still waiting, but you're ignoring good resources and uh, good opportunities to maybe change things up. Allowing that tower to fall would mean that you have the opportunity to rebuild its foundation now versus three or four months from now when it's going to fall anyways. And I'm not trying to scare you. I'm just saying that if you see that things are not really great at work, if you see things that are not really great with a spouse, with a partner, with a lover, with um, a friend, then you already have your warning. The red flags are up and you're a little bit of in denial kind of ignoring that okay but the ground is shifting for you so that is the reason why this is an urgent message from spirit pal number two spirit wants you to definitely feel um that celebratory energy that reciprocal energy as well but it cannot be felt in the manner that you are expecting it or wanting it at least not right now <coughs> one moment please so Pile number two, we have the four of wands right here. And this really is linking up to me. It's in, in sync with, as I dump all my cards on the floor, with the three of swords right here. So I'm going to suggest to you, pile number, uh, pile number two, sorry, that you're a little bit in a resting mode right now. You are kind of hibernating. You are pulling away from the world. And I feel like you're ruminating over a potential breakup, shakeup, this tower that's due to fall, that kind of a thing with the three of swords. I feel like you're trying to kind of not let things go the way that they seem to be going. Um, and you're hiding out, right? This four of swords, little baby looks like it's kind of terrified and it's, uh, you know, encased in who knows what, a bunch of wood and whatnot, and ice. And all of a sudden, I'm looking at these. Not only do they look like uh, wine bottle corks, right? The cork on top of the a bottle of wine. But it also feels to me a little bit like family lineage or family issues, um, things that you hold near and dear. So when we look at trees, it is said, I don't know, because I'm not a tree expert. But... Uh, you know, the rings in the tree will tell how many years, how old that tree is. And so I feel like you could be dealing with a lot of old wounds, old trauma, but also old ways of doing things like the 
adhering to the old patriarchy when it's not really functional in your life. And that's the thing, if a cog doesn't move, if a cog isn't close to the other cogs, um, in order to get that engine going or things moving, then that cog has to be replaced. It's gotta be repaired. It's gotta be strategically placed, once again, close to the other cogs to engage. And if it's not engaging, then something is amiss and we need to deal with it. So I feel like there's a little bit of a denial a little bit of hiding and you know i've been there as well so i hope that you don't feel criticized um but this you know i've hidden from many <laughs> many things that have just come undone in my life and so um you know situations and relationships and and jobs that were you know just not good for me or it's time it's run its course so i really quite do understand this energy now pile number two Look how beautiful these cards are. I mean, how can you not feel instant energy and joy when you see this? The Two of Cups is here, and I feel like, once again, it is seeking that reciprocal connection, even though these cards aren't necessarily, not, not necessarily asking or talking about love. This could be soulmate connections and so on and so forth. We have the Lotus Flower right here. And I feel like you are someone who you, you've not had it easy. You have bloomed in adversity. Also, this could have like a medical connection, like maybe you know somebody or you're very well connected in the medical community or you are very tight with someone. Um, and maybe you're like a caretaker or you are a, you know, it's a parent-child thing and, and the child has... Um, you know, special needs and you are their permanent caretaker, that kind of a thing. And uh, so there could be a medical thing going on right here with the two of cups and a connection. And I'm going to say that it is a deep connection. And I feel like you feel also that it's sanctioned from the most high as well. But you are you're kind of overly focused on it and things are kind of moving around. So I feel like you need to be aware of what's moving, what's shaking and literally what's breaking around you and maybe even under you because those things need to be addressed. Um, and now's the time to try to get ahead of things. So not to be an alarmist, of course, but if you're still here, Paul number two, because I've clicked off of readings too. So <laughs> I get that as well. I'm just going to say that really focusing on things that you don't want to happen or you focus on putting tape on things that you don't want to um, want to have it be deconstructed, right? Like relationships or uh, situationships, whatever this is, hyper vigilance isn't going to help. Hyper focus isn't going to help. Um, being obsessive over things isn't going to help. Now's the time to... Um, really look up and make a real critical assessment of where things are, why it is it that you're feeling this way. There is a reason for it. And it's not just, oh, I'm just being emotional or, oh, it's just me. Definitely not because that's burying your head a little bit in the sand or burying your head a little bit in the eyes. Now, pile number two, you definitely have options with the seven of cups. This is about having a lot of different options. And so I feel like if you sit kind of quietly to yourself and do a little bit of a meditation or ask it to help help you that you're going to get a lot of different hits as far as what this pertains to you specifically because these are once again general readings if you would like a private reading the link to my etsy store is in the description box below so i'd like to know a little bit more about this power reverse what exactly is this please i feel like you're trying to avoid heartache and me too me too. I get it. With the Knight of Cups, this could have to do with a romantic partner, love, or something that you love very much. And this person's looking at, it's a beautiful picture. It's really difficult to see. So you could be looking at like a shadow person or a person from the past or a loved one that has crossed over or a loved one that is no longer in the picture. Um, you could have a little bit of an altar yeah, you could have flowers for them as well. But the Knight of Cups right here is an offer of love. And maybe, so this is maybe talking about that you feel kind of rejected, that your love isn't reciprocal. Um, maybe you are wishing and longing for someone who is no longer there. Maybe you're wishing and longing for times that are no longer there. I know that I personally too have been frozen in time. 
um, mentally, emotionally, and it's really impeded my progress. Palette number two, it has kept me in a period of like stasis or, you know, like stagnancy where things were not moving. And it took a long time for me to get out of that. So I really do hope that you take care of yourself and you get the help that you need and the clarity that you need to be able to move on. Yes, the three of pentacles right here, talking about the cogs and the wheel as well, just making sure that everything is firing on all cylinders. I feel like you have a new connection coming. If this is a partner from the past, almost like it goes from Christmas past, I feel like the light is, you know, it's almost like living in a basement and you can barely see the light. Um, and here is the light trying to come through and pull through for you. And yet you've been waiting for maybe the same old, same old. I'm hearing same old situation, same old ball and chain, not the ball and chain. So three of pentacles right here. I do feel like you have new opportunities coming once again. Um, you've had several in fact, but you have ignored them because you actually are very strict about what you want. It is clinical. It is methodical. It is this one thing. I want German chocolate cake. I do not want any of the other cakes. I don't want the flan. I don't want the puff pastries. I don't want, um, the souffles. I want none of that. I don't want the muffins. I don't want the donuts. I want the German chocolate cake. Never mind the raspberry chocolate cake that is scrumptious and will probably be your new love, right? You want the German chocolate. It is tried and true. So something about letting the past go, letting things go the way, yeah. And the six of wands right here, the way that you feel like they should go in their head, in your head. I feel like um, also there's just an element of like no one else will do that kind of a thing. But I feel like you have a lot of people in your vicinity, um, in your periphery as well. People that have their eye on you, people that want to collaborate, that whatever this is, this personal issue, some of you guys, it is friends, it is family, some of you guys, it is past lovers, and so on and so forth. Or even if you have a connection right now, if you are... I heard empower. Let me just draw closer. Um, if you have a mate, right? If you have someone in your life romantically or you're married or connected or whatever, all the whatevers, I'm just going to say that maybe the spark is gone and that you're wanting things to go the same way that they were before. And we can't capture yesterday. We can't capture last week either. So it's going to be very important that you kind of lift your head up and kind of realize, I heard you better recognize that you are incredibly valuable, incredibly desirable. Um, if this is what we are talking about, even desirable as a friend, okay, all of the above. So you have all the things, but you need to really um, get out of that mode of like heartache, heartbreak and ruinating and look around and see who's celebrating you. So I feel like a lot of people are and um, this light is just hitting. <laughs> it's giving coming out of darkness. It's giving coming out of self-protective mode. It's giving stop waiting for things that are no longer good for you. It's giving rejoicing and getting rooted into mother earth, Pachamama, whatever you want to call it and allowing her to transmute and change things up. It is giving that you are being recognized and highly celebrated within your community, within your circle of friend, friend group, but you're not seeing it whatsoever. So I feel like um, if you were to take that advice, the light would come right back into your eyes. I feel almost like a little, the number 17, 17 on the clock right now, by the way, a little zippy energy just kind of like came to me. I feel like you're going to have that soulmate connection, that depth that you want, that, um, yeah, it's going to be new. So I feel like, you know, the tried and true has left you feeling lonely and uh, maybe misunderstood or three of swords feeling taken advantage of just Old wounds can heal, but you have to participate in your own healing. So I hope that you don't feel chastised, but I want to encourage you to let you know that in the end, it's all about love and we are love. So, um, yeah, that's all I have for you. I hope that if this resonates, you'll give me a like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you again for your patience. Much love to you. Until next time. Namaste. Pile number three. Urgent messages from the 
thank you again for being on my channel, visiting my channel, being curious, being a stalker, whatever. <laughs> Pile number three, urgent messages for the... I'm going to go ahead and shuffle in three, two, one. All right, pile number three, urgent messages for thee. You have the Ace of Pentacles. You have the Tower reversed. You have the Knight of Cups. You have the Two of Pentacles. You have the Ace of Wands. You have the Knight of Pentacles and overseeing your reading. You have the Queen of Pentacles. Oh, she is so pretty. And the Two of Pentacles along with the Two of Pentacles. So right off the bat, pile number three, the very first thing I'm going to say is that I feel like it's pretty obvious or pretty straightforward that we're talking about your finances. Urgent messages for you is your finances. I feel like you have been working hard, labor, laboring hard, and really having a dream, trying to really expand your wealth or establish your wealth, so on and so forth. And with the Queen of Pentacles, this queen has been all of the queens, and yet she has very rooted Okay, um, actually, she's not been all the queens, but maybe you have. I have a personal philosophy that we are all um, at different points in our lives, all the suits. But anyways, that's beside the point. So the Queen of Pentacles right here is somebody who is very pragmatic, very practical, very salt of the earth. This is like the farmer's wife. Um, why can't it be the farmer? I don't know, but it could be also the farmer. So this is somebody who works diligently with their hands. They are very pragmatic in how they approach life. I feel like also babies and people, children could love you. Um, you are the confidant. You are the go-to person. You could be the favorite auntie, that sort of thing. But you don't deposit your energy or time willy-nilly. Everything has a purpose. Everything has its place, that sort of thing. Now, the Ace of Pentacles right here is something on the top of your mind. It's like, do I or don't I? Or do I continue this endeavor or don't I? So I feel like you have deposited some time, energy, and effort into a project, shall we say. And this owl is trying to land on this flower. I don't know if it's going to support it. So maybe perhaps an urgent message coming your way from spirit is that you, on the top of your mind, you're thinking about an endeavor that you're wondering if it's going to be supported, if it's going to flourish for you, if it's, you know, time frame, I'm getting time frame. Is this time frame going to work? Is it going to get back what it is that I'm putting into it? Um, is it worth the time, energy, and effort, the blood, sweat, and the tears? Now, we have the tower with a reversal. Once again, you could be coming from pile number two. You could be uh, somebody who watches all three piles. I frequently do that for a lot of um, channels that I like just because. So if you do that, thank you so much. Regardless, whatever reason and whatever you do, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. And I feel like the tower reversed here tells me that maybe there's a situation that you haven't quite let go of. That's maybe, mm, I'm hearing Debbie like weak. That would, means weak in Spanish. And so maybe it's been a trade-off. Like, do I put time into this? Do I see how it works? Do I give it more time? Do I give it more attention? What does a flower need? What does this flower need to rejuvenate? Do I need to repot it? 
do I need to change its soil? Do I need to add fertilizer? Do I add bark on the top to keep it down? I don't know. I'm not a gardener. I'm just saying. So I feel like you're just really thinking about the most methodical way to approach a financial thing, a financial investment. Um, and again, this could be literally investments or stock, stock markets or buying property or property you currently have, but it's been low key, just sort of like an eyesore. You need to revamp it or it could be yeah, property, maybe you flip houses for a living, or you're thinking about it, or you have a cleaning business, and so on and so forth. So you're wondering is, is this going to materialize what you want? And we're going to find out in just a moment, because you have been juggling. And pile number two, it's obvious and clear to me that you have been juggling two things that are equally important. And you're looking for that stability, because you are, after all, the queen of pentacles. This queen is a no-nonsense queen. This queen is straightforward, very pragmatic, very diligent, very, let me roll up my sleeves and get to work, right? So... With that being said, all of a sudden we have the Knight of Cups right here, which to me is very interesting because I feel a lot of money vibes in this. Everything seems to be coins, mostly. And yet all of a sudden we have the Knight of Cups. And I feel like for you, it's more than just money. It's more than just, is it going to grow and flourish? It's about an emotional connection to whatever it is that you are doing. So yeah, and I'm being told almost like this, is it a goose? I don't know, geese? So it's almost like this bird, swan. <laughs> I could hear you guys going, eh, it's none of the above. You're wrong. Okay, let me know what this is if y'all know. But I feel like she's pointing. She, he is pointing this way to the right. And it's like, okay, well, I don't want to let this go because I've invested. And there is an element of this is my play area. This is my play zone. Maybe you... um you have a side hustle where you do makeup on the side because it's fun and and yet you would like to be able to turn you know turn a coin on it and and get some money in return for the time that you're spending because although it's a labor of love it is still labor and you recognize that that labor should be rewarded as well so I'm feeling like there's a little bit of like, yeah, it's play, but yeah, I can, you know, I can also use, I mean, playtime is still time that you will never get back. So part of this playtime is still work. And I think that there's a, a balance, a teetering that you have to really make a judgment. For you, I feel, pal number two, that you're making a judgment above all else on whether this is play or if this is a work project that needs to be profited off that sort of thing. Not everything has to turn a profit, but it's also nice to be recognized, right? And valued. And, um, and society has taught us nothing if that if we don't have money, there's no value, which is really so funny. And I do say that tongue in cheek because sometimes I see people, other fellow readers and stuff going, no, I never charge for my service. I feel like that is an injustice of, you know, your gifts and I'm violating my gifts and so on and so forth. Now I'm like, you must have a husband that supports you or somebody that supports you. But anyways, I, I feel like you're kind of weighing things like that. Is this good for me? Is it helpful? Is it, do I continue pursuing it? Do I have more time? Do I keep it in the fringe and the periphery the way it has been, you know? So you're trying to establish a value there so that you gain a little bit more of a balance. I feel like this is something that you don't want to give up. It is an activity that you do find enjoyable, emotionally gratifying, but also there seems to be something lacking. We'll look into that in just a moment. But urgent messages for you. We have the two of pentacles. So yeah, a little bit of like juggling, a little bit of, yeah, show off you like I can do this and, and I'm good at it. Why wouldn't I do this? And I have my corporate job, but I do this other thing as well. Maybe you make makeup, you make lotions and potions. Maybe you are a designer. Maybe you, um, I don't know, you're into fashion and you make clothes, you make couture purses and so on and so forth. So Pile number two with the Ace of Wands right here, I feel like this has a lot to do with getting your mojo. It's like, do I have the stamina to do this? Is this a good thing to do? I feel like you're very creative. This is about networking as well. Um, otherwise, uh, 
conversely, is it? Well, anyways, I feel like you could be looking at the internet or things like that to expand or bring more awareness to what it is that you do. Put your, putting yourself out there more. So if you're a makeup guru on the side, you're like, you know, maybe I can open up a page um, where I share my makeup tricks, tips, and things like that um, and see if that could bring some form of a independent financial stream as well. So I think that, you know, the queen of pentacles is always looking for, um, diversifying, but only pursuing things that are, that are tried and true. So that could be you in this case. And again, on this channel, we read energy, not sex. Now, a little bit about this card down here. These lilies to me look a bit like ghosts. So it could be that um, maybe perhaps you have tried to establish something online and these almost look like bells, like jingle bells, maybe in December. That could be a, a thing where you get a renewed amount of business or people um, looking at your business and paying attention to what you, you are doing is a secondary form of income. Maybe that's when things cohesively stick together. But I feel like with a spider also, you are very intuitive and vibrationally aware of things that are out there and how to bring things about. And so I feel like a large part of you is, hmm, do I, do, do I have more energy, more time for this? And um, you're checking out, you're putting out the feelers, you're putting out the vibes, you're checking the temperature, all the things. So again, I'm getting, I don't know why, but I'm feeling December might be critical for you as well here. So the two of pentacles right here. Yeah, you're, you're definitely looking at um, the energy, reading the energy, reading the energy in the room, all the things. You're unwilling to break free from this entirely. Um, but if you are to keep it, I'm going to say that with the tower reverse, it is definitely something that you're going to have to revamp. And again, if you're coming from pile number two, you know, the example I gave, you are pile number two. So sorry. <laughs> pile number one, the, the example I gave with the tower reversed, but I'm going to say that, uh, whatever pile it was now I'm all mixed up. So the tower reverse is something that maybe you're thinking of cutting off entirely or scrapping or not devoting a lot of time to. But this is something that the foundation needs to change. However it is that it's been built, it is time for a change. That plant needs to be repotted. It needs new things in order to breathe new life into it and you know it. So you're deciding how big of a pot does it need? Is it something that I'm going to keep? Do I want to graft that tree, that plant, that thing in order to have it grow and so on and so forth? What is the cost to me? So I feel like you are definitely counting the cost, re-evaluating everything, all the things, and trying to see how to establish a better foundation, a firmer foundation. You do realize that it's going to take time, energy, blood, sweat, and tears. And I think that a large part of your evaluation is, do I want to put that into all the energy and effort into it? So you're a little bit, you know, at that teeter-tottering point right here. Now, with the example I gave was my channel, how this channel has not been monetized. And, you know, that has been my goal um, for some time. But I do, I do tend to talk a lot of crap. <laughs> my mouth gets me in trouble. And uh, also, I have some saucy readings on this channel, as you guys know. So I'm going to have to clean up my act. Basically, this is about what do you need to clean up? What do you need to rectify? What do you need to straighten up in order to develop a new foundation? Um, establish a better foundation, more solid foundation in order to allow this thing to grow. So the example I'm just giving, it would be my channel, which I will be turning my attention to this channel and cleaning those areas up and then applying again to see if I can get this monetized. Cause you know, yeah, I'd like to get paid for what I love to do. So anyways, moving on, I just want to give you a real life practical example. Also, I want to be transparent cause you guys are my true and blue and you've been with me from the start. Now, clarifying things, we have the Celestial Weaver, yeah. And I feel like this is all about energy. I feel like you're also asking even the universe, universe, is this really good for me? I feel like you could be definitely a healer. You have healing hands. Uh, you could have a really beautiful figure, a nice badonka dunk. Not that we're here for that, but hey, some people are. And the Knight of Pentacles right here is the slowest moving. Look at how beautiful these cards are, you guys. I'm just going to let you feast your eyes just because it's pretty. But it is the slowest moving suit. The pentacle suit is so, so slow. Almost like watching a plant grow, watching paint dry, and so on and so forth. But I feel, Paul, 
from pile number two. Um, I feel like you're just reading energy. You're reading energy of the room and you're also gaining and gleaning um, energy from being grounded from Mother Earth. So I feel like if you do these things, you really connect and commune with spirit in this way that you will get the green light to go exactly where it is that you need to go. But I also heard in my head the red light, like anything that you need to stop and reconfigure. Um, it's like a Rubik's Cube being put all together again, you know, once you kind of break it up. So I feel like you can get downloads from Spirit pretty easily. But it's going to be time for a pause and get something about reading the energy. And that will help you to progress and proceed also. But I feel like this has, you know, it's a, an emotional nature. It's not just money. Once again, it is a passion project. It is a baby. It is a labor of love. And that's why... It's going to take a lot to kind of flip this a little bit to be more commercialized. And I hate to say commercialized, but frankly, we live in a land of currency. So unless you want to barter with me for services, that's going to be a little bit challenging if we're doing things through the Internet, right? So we have to speak the language of the land sometimes. Then we have the hangman. Yeah, so you are going to wait until you get really clear on how to progress, how to proceed. And this is a good thing. I feel like doing things willy-nilly, such as <clears throat> I've been known to do, is probably not a good move for you. But also, I feel like you are a queen of pentacles. So you know that making kind of, you know, not super informed moves or moving willy-nilly is not going to work for you. So that is what I have for you. Much, much love to you. I hope that this has served some purpose and some help. And if it has, please do give me that like, share, comment, subscribe. And thank you once again for your patience. Much love. Until next time. Namaste.